that real quick. Creative building. Udemy. See, I knew. Yeah. Linda's also good too. Linda.com. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm lovely. Oh, I'm sorry. lovely. I didn't, I didn't expect you to come. I was reading, but. Um, oh, <laughs> she like, um, you know, don't hi. press the button okay, if you don't so, expect me to ask it. <laughs> yeah. um, well, yeah, not expect to come, but answer. Um, but I had a question. I just wanted to know I'm a single, hey, Bella, I'm a single mother of, uh, say hi. You can say hi. Hi. I'm a single mother of three children and I'm trying to start um, entrepreneurship up and just like we're taking care of three children. I have two small ones and then one. Oh, he's right here. <laughs> um, I just wanted to know just an up and coming entrepreneur. What would be your advice for, you know, just mothers trying to come up because it is really so hard and I have a YouTube channel like I'm really into empowerment and I just want to empower my community because I know what it's like I had my first child at 16 I'm 26 now and so I know what it's like just to be um you know struggling and coming up and just I'm still getting out of the survivor mode you know I'm just getting into self-love and self-care and just overcoming everything that I've went through and just trying to spread light as I'm still going through my journey and becoming an entrepreneur. So what would be your advice for me and for other self entrepreneurs, you know, coming up, just trying to start off and just impact their community and empower as they go along? Uh, man, it's sometimes when I, when I speak to, you know, women that have children and women that you know take care of, of of children and have a huge responsibility i don't even feel like i'm deserving to answer that question in its entirety um being being a man um i could only you know imagine what it's like to simultaneously want to run a business as well as be a woman um so i, I think i i could just share um exposure um you know business is very interesting because you need what, what really distinguishes you is um your ability to intake real-time information i feel like that's what makes the best businesses um you know if there's resources for for business that you would like i post some on exposure os and i'm really going to start doing live streams via exposure os to sharing some business information as well and some business books um there's this book that I really like called The Algorithm Leader. Um, I'm actually going to write it in here so everybody could. Um, this book right here. Um, Look, I got my pen and paper. I was ready. Let me write yeah, I just, I just sent it. But it's um, um, as The Algorithmic Leader. Um, and it's, it's a really good book. And I really think, you know, you could benefit from it. Yeah. Um, but yes, absolutely. Um, I just, I, I freeze up sometimes when I'm talking to women that have children that, you know, because that responsibility is huge. And also to starting a business simultaneously. And I feel like for me being not only young, but also being a man, um, you know, we need, we need more women, you know, that are in technology, we need more women that are in business. So I'm very cautious of, of, of things I say, um, you know, because right. I, I, I can't, I can't even, yeah, that, I, I, you know, it's like, I just have so yeah. much respect, you know, that it, it right. you want to be very, I'm just, very, so much respect to you. And I just want to send my positive energy and positive vibes to you because just, even though I'm woman and just watching you, it's still inspiring. I can still be inspired because I'm raising a son, you know, on my own. So just to be a colored woman and just still, you know, I'm trying to keep my mind focused and not get so caught up in like, oh my God, I'm a single mother. Like, you know, just to try to, so I can uh, further reflect light and love and peace onto, like, I'm sorry, um, onto my children, you know, so that they can grow up different from my circumstances and so that they can grow up and know how important it is to be an entrepreneur and just to start something and empower your community. And like I said on my YouTube channel, I just speak on that and you know, just try to empower and let people know how important it is. Like wellness is important and mental health and just to be in one with all that, just what you're intaking as far as 
your social media timeline all the way to the food that you were intaking because it all that. flows together. It's a balance. It's a flow, you know? And so that's yes. just something we that I'm powerful. trying to spread. Yes, and, and, you know, it's important that we, especially the younger generation, give y'all all the resources you need to to create the future because, you know, I just, I just pinned my homie Blake just posted women, uh, women were the first teachers, you know, the first mathematicians, yeah. the first scientists. And it comes from, you know, we think of Mother Earth. No one ever says Father Earth, right? Um, it's, right. It's, it's more sensible for us to think as nature or the universe as a woman as opposed to a man because women give life. Um, and I feel like, you know, they, you, there's a quote. They say, if you want... If you want to teach a man how to how to be successful or something like that, if like you want to teach a man how to be successful or how to lead himself, you teach him. But if you want to teach or if you want a woman to lead a nation or if you want to if you want somebody to lead a nation, you teach a woman. But if you want somebody to lead themselves, you teach a man. And I feel like that's why we just got to, you know, put as much emphasis on empowering women as possible. And um, right. yeah, if you have anything, you know, however, we as a community, everybody in this live stream and beyond can assist you on your journey. Um, just let us know. And if you have something you want me to post, you know, where we could go check you yeah, out. Yeah, definitely. You know. I would, I'm going to um, leave my YouTube channel down in the comments. And like I said, Please. it's just all peace, love, and light because I want everybody to experience this journey with me. Since I've tapped into my awakening, it's been something totally different, like, it's I can feel it. It's like a yeah. you know, it's crazy when you out the box and you looking at it. Like it's it's like a different dimension, you know. And so I'm I'm thankful to the universe, God, the sun, the moon. Like I'm so thankful. Yes. And so I thank you for even allowing me on here and just letting me speak to you. This is this is letting me know that I'm in flow and in balance that everything is, is working out. Yeah, so I'm I mean y'all y'all got that perspective. y'all got like a different perspective. You know, it's like what's going on right now with like the uh, the abortion laws and everything like that. How and why are men making these rules? You know, how do men make rules for women? How, do, how you know, what's the, the idea of even allowing like less than 50, 60 years ago, women couldn't even vote till yeah. men ultimately, you know, allow that to happen. Um, and I feel like we need to play that. And that's wrong. That's a wrong way of thinking. Um, it really is you know, how, and I, I, how men make just seeing decisions somebody's, on women's bodies right and I'm sorry not to cut you off um, just seeing some of the, the quotes how they were making up the law and just some of the stuff that they were seeing throughout that whole process and then as far as just like you said that uh, we didn't even get to vote we didn't even get equal pay so this is stuff mm -hmm. that I'm trying to we st um, I mean women still don't get equal pay we exactly still don't we still don't we still don't you know it's in the, and then on top of not getting equal pay it's like we're looked at as ass and titties let's be honest you know mm -hmm. so you know a lot of that's it's not right and just coming up seeing in the community nowadays society nowadays social media nowadays the younger girls are feeling like they have to fall into that i see so many i'm not no judgment i'm not shedding judgment i see so many um strippers and stuff like that what happened to the doctors what happened to the philanthropists what happened to the you know that what's going on you know and that's just what i want to teach younger girls because um being a, like i said a teen mom i was 16 when i had my first child i'm 26 and she's nine now so, you know, it's amazing, but back then, it was just like, you know, now that I'm um, in this light, I feel like back then, I didn't realize um, the statistic that I was putting on myself, you know, but it, it made me who I am, and so I'm mm -hmm. thankful, but, you know, I just want to spread that on to other young girls and let them know that you are more than just your body, you are more than just your hair, like, I've been trying to just wrap my hair up and just go fully covered sometimes, because I'm like, People just gonna see my eyes and they you gonna appreciate me. Like you know, so I just wanna spread so it and let them know that they are so much more and even just outside of younger girls. One second, okay, Bella. Even outside of just younger girls, older women, you know, because there's some older women that are still struggling with finding their self and stuff and so that's just I I, I thank you for this. I don't wanna take up too much more of your time, but I just want nah, everybody go, on go here on. to know, including yeah. Include you, like, 
just keep loving yourself. Keep doing what you're doing. You are so inspiring. Everybody on here, like, love yourself. And just really, once you love yourself internally, everything on the outside is just, you're going to learn to love everything else. So it's, you're going to look at it in such a more beautiful light. Like, it's nothing like growth. It's nothing like, you know, the elevation, the level up. So just keep grinding, keep grinding, keep grinding. And as I'm speaking this into y'all, I'm speaking it into myself. Like, so yeah. thank you. And I love that. Love you, Speak. King. And just... You continue on what you're doing we appreciate that we as a community we all love you too and we you know we're just gonna be here for you please drop your youtube link um I up in there, will. and then i'm gonna I'm pin it so the whole community can see this okay i definitely will thank you you have a blessed day okay thank you she was fired she was like giving the information and i feel like she was speaking on behalf of so many people that might be in this live stream right now and I'm going to pin all of these live streams. Uh, I guess I'm gonna filter through now because we only have a few. Um, I, I, I'm leaving at 4.30.